Hello guys, welcome back to Tali's Kitchen and today we're going to be learning how to make chicken tikka masala. Now this is essentially chicken in really nicely spiced curry and it turned out incredibly delicious. Chicken tikka is one of my most requested videos in my comments and I finally decided to get this done and it turned out absolutely amazing. The chicken was nicely soft and juicy, the curry was absolutely perfect. So without any further ado, let's learn how to get this done. So to start here, I'm using chicken breasts from one chicken and then I've just gone ahead and diced this up into cubes. So we'll start here by adding some salt to taste, half a teaspoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of black pepper. Up next, I'm doing one teaspoon of jeera powder. And then lastly, I'm going to add here half a teaspoon of coriander powder and one teaspoon of garam masala. Up next, we're going to do juice of one lemon. So lastly here, I'm doing one cup of plain yogurt. So just add that onto your chicken and then we're going to get ready to mix everything together. So just go in with your spatula or your spoon and make sure that everything is nicely incorporated. And then we'll add a few more spices. So I've added here one tablespoon of cooking oil and one tablespoon of tomato paste. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix this all in and then we'll also go ahead and add some ginger garlic paste. So here we're doing one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. So just get that nicely mixed in with your chicken and then we're going to set this aside to marinate for just about 30 minutes before we get cooking. It's been about 30 minutes now so I have my pan here with some nice hot oil and I'm just going to place my chickens here so that they can start cooking. So just add all your chicken here and then the leftover marinade we're just going to use it uh, later on. So you want to go ahead and cover this and just let it cook on medium heat until the chicken is nicely done been about 10 minutes now and this is how my chicken looks i am absolutely content with how it looks now remember you don't want to overcook your chicken so don't cook this for too long 10 to 15 minutes is perfectly fine so in the same pan i'm going to go ahead and add one large diced onion and then we're just going to mix that in so we have here a little bit of marinade and that's very okay so just leave that in there up next i'm adding here one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and then i'm going to go ahead and also add here my tomatoes and i'm going to use exactly two large diced tomatoes and then i'm also adding here one large diced green pepper once you have that nicely mixed together we're going to add here a quarter cup of cashew nuts so just add that onto your vegetables and mix that in I'm also adding here half a teaspoon of garam masala and half a teaspoon of jeera powder and then I'm also going to add half a cup of water and then we're going to cover this and let this simmer for about five minutes. It's been about five minutes now and my vegetables look absolutely good. So just go ahead and turn off your heat and then add your vegetables into your blender and then we're going to get ready to blend this. So take your time here until you get a nice smooth paste and then we're just going to go ahead and add this back to our pan and get ready to finish cooking. So we're also going to go ahead and add the remainder of our marinade, the one that we used to marinate our chicken because it still has a lot of spices and it's just going to give our tikka an extra oomph. 
So we're going to add some salt to taste and then we're going to let this simmer until our sauce is almost ready before we add our chicken. My chicken tikka sauce is out here looking like a thousand bucks. So I'm going to now go ahead and add in my chicken because it's ready. And then we'll just mix this in. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in some cooking cream. So I'm using here about a quarter cup of cooking cream. So just add that onto your chicken. And then we're going to now cover this and let this simmer for about five minutes. This masala has my house smelling like an Indian restaurant and has me so so hungry and this is basically ready so I'm just going to go ahead and garnish this with some additional cooking cream and then I'm also going to go ahead and add in here some chopped coriander leaves. Look at how beautiful this chicken tikka masala looks and I can assure you the taste is a hundred percent worth it. I went ahead and paired mine with some rice here and you can also have this with chapati or some roti as well and I'm just going to go ahead and have my first bite here and guys, 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 you will understand the meaning of delicious chicken tikka masala when you finally try out this recipe at home. So do let me know how this goes in the comment sections below. Remember to like, to subscribe and to share. You can also follow me on Instagram at Chef Tali and I will see you all next time with another amazing recipe. Bye guys.